This is a short introduction into Bluefish 2.0. Let's start Bluefish. Programming Bluefish Editor. This is starting on a netbook, so even on a netbook it starts pretty quickly. So what has changed? Most of Bluefish still looks the same. Let's start by typing an HTML document. Something completely new is autocompletion. As you see, it's very easy to create the document very fast. So here I have my first HTML document. And this works for HTML, but it also works for other languages, even in line. If I now create a style sh a section, I can start a uh, cascading style sheet and I get autocompletion for cascading style sheets. So, when I use, for example, a background color, background color white and color black. As you might have noticed, there is a help text on the right side of the options. And the same help text can be found if you just move your mouse over an option, for example background color, you see it sets the background color of an element. So there is inline help here, just move your mouse over an element, for example here body defines the document's body. Autocompletion works for HTML, but it works for most other languages as well. Start a new document, typed on something PHP. I'll detect it's PHP. There it is. Let's do a MySQL query. Up, there we go. We have tab completion as well. So if in MyS tab F tap fetch row. There it is. And the same help here. Move your mouse over an entry and you get the help over the function. So we have many languages with inline help, inline autocompletion, and we also have inline spell checking. Miss Miss spelled. As you see, the text is spell checked, but the code is not. So it is language sensitive spell checking. If you use the same thing in PHP, it will do spell checking in a string. So it's spelled, but it does not do spell checking in the functions. So what else is new? Um, we have some side panes here, we have bookmarks, we did have bookmarks already. We have snippets, which is new. Snippets is a replacement of the custom menu. For example, let's, uh, we have here hello world, edit hello world, it will insert before text hello, after text world. So if I click it, I get hello world. It's also accessible from the menu here. Hello world. Or if I select something and click hello world, it's on the same side. So this is a replacement of the custom menu, which is much easier to edit because it's in the side pane here, and uh, but it has the same functionality, uh, more or less. We have another new plugin, which is the character map. You need some special character, for example, this one, I don't know what its name is, just double click it. You want it HTML entity, you do, do like this. What else is new? We have upload download synchronization. Over here, you have a local directory, a remote directory, and you can just click upload or download to synchronize. Uh, both directories, which can be very convenient to edit a, a, a large website locally and then upload it uh, again. And it will upload only the changes. 
one very important thing which is quite invisible but it's there is document recovery let's terminate this process now kill all uh, kill all Bluefish is gone now all my modifications are gone I think I start it again Hey, and there they are again. Bluefish automatically saves now your changes, and it's you can set it into preferences how often it does. And for this demo, I've set it to 10 seconds. So, what else do we have? Lots of new tools over here. Projects still the same, but more options. Documents more options. We have visible spacing, for example. Let's add some sp spacing here. Add some tabs. And lots more. Just give it a try.